Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to insert and edit some of the most basic visual elements to the slide, like text boxes, pictures, and shapes, and how to add, edit, and remove slides from your presentation. So, let's get on. Let's open PowerPoint first. To open the application, go to the Launchpad on Mac or click on the Windows button on your PC. Search for the PowerPoint app and click on it. A new window will prompt with a series of options to create a new file. Select blank and then click Create. The default slide will have two text boxes, one for the title of the slide and the second one for a subtitle or it can be used for content as well. Let's take advantage of them and use the first text box to add the title, My First Slide. To modify the text box, just click in the middle of it and start typing, My First Slide. To complete the action, press Escape or click outside the text box. On the second text box, we will add a little more description to the slide. Click in the middle and type on this slide, I will learn how to add visual elements to the slide. Let's add one more text box from scratch. To insert a new text box, you can do it directly on the ribbon tab home from the drawing section or from the ribbon tab insert from the text object section. Click on the text box and you will see how the pointer change adding an A to it. Now select a section on the slide where you want to put the text box and just click. The text box is placed and the pointer in the middle is pulsing indicating that it's ready to receive your input. We will add, this is my first text box. Let's now add a picture. We are already on the ribbon tab insert. Locate the picture controls and click on the menu. There you can choose where to look for the picture, from browser, from file, or online images. Let's choose from file. From there, select the folder where the picture is. I will use my logo picture, but you can use a picture that you have on your computer. And there we go. It's a little too big for my slide, so I will modify it a little. To edit the picture, in fact, any element, select the element and you will see six white squares showed up. Select one from the corners and move it inward to make it smaller. Then I would like to move it to the right top corner. Select the picture from the middle and move it. There. Now let's add some shapes, like a square, a circle, and maybe an irregular shape. We will do this from the ribbon tab home from the drawing section. Click on the shape menu and select a square. You can see how the pointer changed to a cross. Select the section of the slide where you want to add the square. I will use the left bottom corner, click on it, and there we go. Let me do one more. This one, I will put it next to the one that we just added. But instead of just one click, I will click and hold. Now we select just the start position of the square, but we can choose the size with the help of the dimensions shown next to the pointer. If you ended up creating a rectangle instead of a square, you can select the shape, then go to the context sensitive tab, shape format, locate the size controls, and make sure the dimensions are the same. Let's make a circle. Click on the Shapes menu and select the circle. Let's use the other side of the slide and click. There we have the circle. Let's open again the Shape menu and choose an irregular shape. I will do the cloud here in the middle and click and drag to make it a little bigger. Okay, now we have several shapes created. 
Let's edit some of them. Select the cloud and go to the Shape Format tab. From there, we can change the shape fill. Click on the color menu and select the color you want from the template. You can also remove the fill color. Open the menu and select the No Fill. And now we have only the outline, which we can change the color as well. Click on the Outline Color menu and select a different color. From the same menu, you can change the line thickness and the type of line. I will add the fill color back to green. Now I will edit the big square. Click on it and we will add effects to the shape, like adding a shadow, a reflection, glow, or bevel. Let's move to edit the text box that we created. Select it and go to the Shape Format tab. We can add outline color, and we can also add the fill color. We can also change the text color. Let's also modify the original text boxes that were there. Select my first slide box and select the outline to select the actual shape. Now we can modify the size and move it to the top and we can rotate the text box with this tool. Click and hold and then rotate with your mouse. One quick note that I would like to make. All the shapes that we inserted can be converted to text boxes, keeping their current shape. Just select the shape and start typing. Hello, hello, hello. If the text doesn't fit, change the text size or change the size of the shape. I'm running out of space here, so I need to delete some of these elements. To delete an element, just select the element and press delete. Simple as that. So far, we have worked with visual elements, but how about if I want to add more slides? To add a slide, you can do it in four different ways, from the ribbon tab home or the ribbon tab insert. We have the new slide button, click on it, and here we have a new slide with two placeholders. A second way is opening the new slide menu and from there, choose between these options to create the new slide. I will select blank, and there we go. One more way is from the slide tab or on the current slide. You can right click on your mouse and select new slide. This option will insert a new slide with the same placeholders than the current slide. If I select this slide that has two text boxes, it will add a new one with two text boxes. If I select this other one that is blank, it will add a new one blank. So you get the idea. The last option is duplicate on the slide. Let's go back to the original slide. Right click on the slide and select duplicate slide. And there we go. We can add or duplicate the slides between any of the current slides. And in the case that they don't go exactly where you want, we can move them around. To move a slide, use the Slide tab and select the slide you want to move with your mouse. Click and hold, move it to the new location, and drop it when you're ready. To delete the slides, you can do it from the Slide tab. Right click on the slide that we need to remove and select Delete Slide. To save your work, go to the Fast Access Toolbar, click on the Save icon, then select the location for your file, and click Save. Alright, now you know how to insert, edit, and delete shapes and slides to your presentation. I hope you find this video helpful to get you familiarized with PowerPoint. Thank you for watching, and if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get access to my series of tutorials to learn more about this application. I'll see you in the next video.